Okay, I have two, um... Two things. Well, first, well, I had another one. I had a thing. We might disagree about this. Good. Uh, but then I also had a, a question that just came up, which is, how long have you had a prayer practice? And what is your prayer practice? Two months, ever since my reawakening. I used to do blessings, believe it or not, as an atheist, uh, not an atheist. I say now, I'm, I call myself, I wouldn't have ever said it before. A materialist, uh, uh, a materialist, a pure skeptic. A doubter. <laughs> an, an agnostic, yeah. yeah. When you're dead, you're dead. Death is final. Um, I still, at those times, I bless my son, I bless my daughter, I bless my other son, I bless my mom, I bless my dad, I bless my ex-wife. You know, I, I, I did that. Did you do it just whenever you felt like it, or did you have a regular practice? I did it whenever I felt like it. Now, it seems that morning and night, I wake up thankful to be here. And then after I'm thankful to be here and I'm thankful for my sons and my parents and all you, uh, Elizabeth, Sarah, Marcy, Rick, Julie, I am thankful for all that and the dear people I work with or worked with that day. That's a new thing. Who did I think about today? And then I bless them. And I bless, I, I don't know who to pray to. I don't know how to address it. Very often it's just when I'm in the least, uh, you know, when I'm the tiredest, it's just the Father, the Holy Father. It might be my home, my, my dear friends. It might be wise people. Um, and and uh, occasionally I'll, I'll ask for something. But usually it's just blessings. I bless. That's the biggest part of my prayer practice, is to bless Netanyahu, bless Putin, bless the people I worked with today and saw today. Eva, do you feel like when you're saying bless them, do you feel like you're asking whatever the concept being of God is to bless them? Or do you feel like you are sending blessings to them? That's an interesting thing. When I fall again into my patterns, I say, bless them, bless them. But I feel more, I feel better saying, I bless them. I bless Putin. I bless Netanyahu. I learned this a few years ago, somewhere on a maybe Christian radio station, you know, to, to give blessings. And Something interesting has happened since my awakening. I've noticed, and I'm not good at it yet, but I have detected a different, a different perspective. I just am barely aware of this. Like my soul is, I, I've, I've noticed a difference in perspective that is possible in my inner life. Something I, I have a lot more exploring to do but there's there's something about the child of God. Uh, well, the I've got a lot. Whatever it is, yeah. There's something there's something about me that is forgotten or neglected or confused or not acknowledged. Generally, there's something there. I I'm I'm not very far along in getting figuring it out. Okay, but I'm just curious because you often say I'm very conservative. I'm a Republican. I'm conservative, and I would say I am definitely not Republican, and I am way left. Um, yeah. So, but when we talk, it seems that we agree, which I kind of tend might be the case with many people. But I'm curious about that root. Why do we, at the root, see ourselves as coming from very different places? I need to be totally honest in a way that, okay, you know about code switching? Remind me. When you're with so-and-so, you speak their language. Oh, yeah. When yeah. you're with so-and-so else, you speak their language. Yeah. I am a Republican. I am a Mormon because I speak Mormon. I speak Republican very well. I'm fluent. 
more fluent in Mormon and more fluent in Republican than any other language. I'm a native Mormon, a native Republican. I feel the feels. They may be adopted feels. They may be mitigated feels. But they're my feels. They're not. You feel the feels of, of Mormonism and Republicanism. Of Tom Hawes the Mormon and of Tom Hawes the Republican. That's that's. The, I'm trying to be very very honest right here. It's Tom Hawes the Mormon. Tom Hawes the Republican. It's not Republicanism. It's not Mormonism. It's Tom Hawes the Mormon. Tom Hawes the Republican. The but, Tom Hawes who is produced by a background of Mormonism and Republicanism. Right. So saying I'm okay, but I took a political views online assessment that Uncle Wallace uh, uh, recommended in the last few months. It said I'm a Marxist. and I'm not a Marxist. I took a thing too and I got crazy results. I think I have them here. I was like, whoa, I don't know what I am, but. No, yeah. because I don't buy any party line. And I don't buy this class warfare. And that I might be brainwashed. I might be brainwashed. Marx might be right, but I'm but I'm not a Marx. I mean, do you know what I mean? We might be in class warfare and we might be conditioned to think we're not. That's possible. I'm, I'm open and I'm inquiring and I'm honest and I love my neighbor. Okay, so that's that's the answer so far. Does that? So, no, no, no. I'm not satisfied with that. I mean, can we? Yeah. Can, I'm stuck here a little bit. Can we stay here for a bit? Yeah, yeah. We don't have so to go. You brought up the Mormonism thing along with the Republicanism thing, so I'm going to shift maybe to that. Because it's that always it's always a package. I told you I was at the Unitarian Universalist training on nonviolent direct action, and we're going, you know, and we're all just good old boys, good old Unitarian Universalist liberals, Democrats here. And at some point, I had to just I just I forgot to say I'm a Mormon and a Republican. That got a good laugh, right? But it's, it, it has meaning. Okay, so I'm, I am confused about that because, so I know that ever since you've, what I would call, what I would call, left the Mormon church, you have been fairly consistent, adamant's the wrong word, but consistent, persistent in saying that you're a Mormon. You're a Mormon boy. You're a Mormon boy. I'm a Mormon and, boy. Um... And that I, I just don't, I, I don't understand that. For me, I'm like, I am not a Mormon. I was a Mormon. I was very much a Mormon. I was a very good Mormon. I was very good at being a Mormon. I am not a Mormon now. I don't want to be a Mormon now. And when I have the gut reactions that inevitably come up, that's not me. That's not me. That's Mormonism. I can take it out of me. And I am separate from Mormonism. That's not me. I'm choosing that. What I choose is to not be Mormon. So that's where I come from with it. So for me to look at you and say, we can talk about, as we've shown so far, almost anything and be pretty much on the same page. And yet, when it comes down to these two things, <laughs> you will say you're Mormon, and I will say I am not Mormon. But we're, to me, we're the same thing, right? We're at the same place. Well, we're at similar places. We're not at the same place, but similar. And that's scary in a sense because it, that's almost like here we are the same, and yet you're voting for Harris and I'm voting for Trump. Which is not the case with us, let me just clarify. But yeah, when you're talking to someone and you're like, wait, we're, you're good, I'm good, and yeah. Right, because it's scary because you're saying all this stuff, but the outcomes are not the same. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious about, yeah, I'm curious what's going on. I, think I, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's important when I'm in the democratic circles or when I'm with Erica, the quartet organizer, that they know I'm a Mormon. Now, I, I understand it maybe could be just fine to say I was raised Mormon. I'm not sure. That, as far as Mormon goes, with Republican, I think maybe you have less of a question or less feels about it because I can be a Republican if I want. It's no big deal. Is that right? Right, although you don't seem to believe the same as Republicans, so it seems weird to insist that you're Republican, but I don't really know what you believe. But I, I do mean... believe on part of me, there is in me a Republican. A Republican lives inside of me. But doesn't a Democrat also live inside of you? And a Marxist? I don't know. Because I don't know. See, that's, that's the thing. I know that a Republican lives inside of me. When you talk about labor unions, collective bargaining, I, I know the Republican is going, blah, 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 blah. there's no Democrat in there. there I mean... There's no Democrat in there. There's a person that says collective bargaining might be a good thing, but there's no Democrat in there. There, there really mm -hmm. is no Democrat inside me. Now, I could write Democrat on the foot of, the sole of my shoe, I suppose. Wait, so, so are you saying that you are a very open and loving person who's curious and wants to know what might be good ways to make the world what it could be for everybody, but you're keenly aware of the Republican and, and, and that person doesn't really have a lot of like I'm trying to say ideologies or, or, people. or I'm skeptical of ideologies, right? Of all ideal. I'm skeptical and yeah. appreciative and grateful for but all you don't, ideologies. You don't identify with ideology. That person doesn't identify with any ideologies. You're just trying to figure it out and you're trying to work with everybody to figure this out in a curious, open, loving way, but you're keenly aware that there is a Republican ideology that's strong from your past that still somewhere resides in you. Like when I say the inevitable knee-jerk reaction that sometimes comes up because I was Mormon for 42 years. Like was, when I pray when I'm lazy. When I pray when I'm lazy, it's, it's Mormon. Yeah, yeah. So, but you feel a keen, so... Yeah, so you feel that it's maybe a matter of honesty to acknowledge those in my effort to not be ideological, in my effort to, that's not the word I'm thinking of, in my effort to not hold on to any specific ideology, in my effort to be open and curious and blah, blah you feel that you need to acknowledge those things in order to be honest with the people that you interact with. The, the, the Republican aspect, the Mormon aspect, those things were like, I was trained. I was very well trained in these things. They are there. That training, I have not, I'm not able to ignore that training completely. Like I, I can't deal with that training the same as I can with every other ideology in the world. I think, yes, there's a deep root 
fundamental core psychological aspect that's more Republican and more Mormon than anything else. But I feel like maybe maybe you can. I feel like when I talk to you and inter interact with you, those things don't come out more strongly than anything else. No, they don't because uh, see, really, if I can really quickly, the stages of faith, right? You got your. We skip really quickly to stage three, synthetic conventional. Stage four, individuative, reflective faith, and then stage five, conjunctive faith. Um. The faith change is the movement out of stage three, and you're in individuative, reflective, and then you start to put things all together. And what am I going to call myself? At some point, you get to the point where, like, what am I going to call myself? But you feel a need to call yourself something? Well, full disclosure. So, okay, but this is why, oh. th so I don't know, yeah, this I, is why, to me, because I think you do it partly from a, a desire to be honest. Well, let me say that. It, 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 this is difficult, so push hard. To me, when you say, I'm a Mormon and I'm a Republican, that feels very dishonest. Yes. Like, it's jarring because I feel like he says that, but everything he says and does and is, is not Mormon. Yes. Everything he says and does and is, is not Republican. Yes. And yet he insists on telling me that he's a Mormon and a Republican. Okay, yes, that's, yes. Then I, I feel like you're, you're not being honest with yes, anybody. Yes, that's a problem. Partly because you maybe we're using language differently, but you've defined Mormon to mean one thing, but that's not what everybody else means, so then yeah. you're not communicating yeah. honestly with people, right? Yeah, that's that's a problem because... No, you're not. You're not a Republican. You're a Marxist. No, I'm not a Marxist. But you can at least see a reason for someone to call you a Republican because you're like, well, I I have that history. Yeah. That's in me somewhere, like in my past at least. Yeah. What about Mormonism? I'm I'm just asking to clarify, you. I mean, I don't I don't. I don't. You mean I can say to somebody, are you are you are you suggesting that I could say to someone, well, what do you want to call me? Uh, I guess I'm curious about the need to call yourself something. I mean, you're a Tom, you're yes. a Tom Hawes. Well, and a Tom Hawes is an open, loving, curious, exploring guy I don't say I'm a Mormon or <sighs> rats it's tough it's really tough there was one time and I don't know if this has anything to do with it one time it sort of made sense to me was when you were talking to me about your patriarchal blessing and I thought oh that's why he clings to those things but that's me saying oh he's clinging to these things that's me yeah. saying blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it's not necessarily even that you're clinging to those things. I'm curious what it really is. Communication is hard. We got to gloss over everything. It's like when you go and answer all these inter these forms online, you always check that you're white. I'm not white. There's no such thing as white. White is generic. I'm not generic. I'm an English Mormon, you know? So, so th this is actually a real thing. I mean, I had a friend who would not check white. Right. You got to check something for crying out loud. You're not going to check other? On, that's not what people want to know. And that's kind of what you're saying. You're, you're exploring this. Do people want to know that I'm a Mormon? Eh. What, what, what could I tell them that's better? Yeah. Yeah, because I know how confusing it is to people because people will be like, wait, I thought Tom was back in the church. And I'm like, 
No, Tom's as out as he's ever been. He just doesn't claim to be out. It's complicated. I don't know what to say, <laughs> you know, because I can't, I, they get wrong impressions because you insist on calling yourself Mormon. And I'm like, I don't know how to correct this impression because I cannot explain why he's calling himself that. All I know is that he and I are in very similar places <laughs> as far as the church goes. Yeah. Well, I take this to heart here. Um, because that makes me uncomfortable. I don't want people to be confused. Is Tom back in the church? Well, <laughs> what does that mean? It's what, we're t it's what you and I are talking about. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Is Tom back in the church? Do you mean am I going every week? Do I have a temple recommend? Did I get rebaptized? No, I didn't get excommunicated or disfellowshipped. I, it's 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 it, this is what you and I are driving at right now, where we want to go. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I don't mean to be difficult. I don't mean to be in your face. Um, what do you mean by that? I'm confused by the question. That that might be, I'm confused by the question. Yeah, so like with the black, white, the question, the check mark thing. Yeah. I'm trying to think what the other Asian. Oh, um, well, yeah. What if it said, are you black, white, yellow, red? <laughs> so <laughs> part of the slipperiness is they have to choose a place they have to choose a level of scrutiny of zooming in and out and it's fairly arbitrary we've zoomed in to 10 percent so what we want to know we're dividing this by black white asian whatever those we're just doing those three we're just doing black white and asian that's the amount we've zoomed in here now we could zoom in more and then we would want to know that you're an English Mormon or that you're Nigerian or that you're Korean, or we could zoom in even more. Okay, I'm an English, well, we'll add in the Mormon here, not before. I'm an English Mormon. Okay, I'm a Nigerian whatever, I'm a, right? So it's a, it's a matter of zooming in um, that I think maybe feels too arbitrary to accept, right? Like, wait, I, how, how did we decide it's slippery, right? Like, how did we decide we were zooming in 3% and now you're going to identify me as white? Well, there's a lot more. There's a lot further we could go to say who I am than to just stop at that 3% zooming. Yeah. Um, so... I wonder, I mean, I wonder if that's part of it, like the arbitrariness where it's just a little bit of a rebellion against weight. Yeah, this friend of mine, he was rebelling, and I said, man, you know, that's, that, that's being difficult. Don't be... <laughs> Don't be difficult. So I guess, okay, wait, let's explore. So I don't feel a need to... So if someone asks me... People don't really ask me what my, well, they might, like on a form, I have to say, am I, what religion am I? I will say, I'm spiritual non-religious. Check. That but one that is, is tough. Crazy. On a form, that is tough. Because are they asking about religion or are they asking about beliefs? If they're asking about religion, I'll probably check Mormon. If they're asking about beliefs, I'll put spiritual non-religious. But if you don't believe the religion, then why are you part of the religion? Because of heritage? Because of heritage. I am an ethnic Mormon. But the whole world doesn't recognize ethnic Mormonicity. Or they do that by saying, I was raised Mormon. Maybe the world does more than the Mormons think. Well, I guess what I mean is, like, if you're talking to 
it's not the same. It's not, it hasn't yet. I th I've often thought it could become the same as Jewish, right? Where <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. ethnically Mormon. Like but, it's that, not, yeah. but it's not right now. It's not like that. So when it's not when for comes, it's not it's not for the mainstream body of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Well, and it's also not for people outside of it. I mean, like, if if I say I'm Episcopalian, I think people assume that means I ascribe to the Episcopalian faith. That doesn't mean I was raised Episcopalian. That means I being a person who gets to choose who I am and what I do and what I'm a part of have chosen to be Episcopalian because I ascribe to their faith. Yeah. Uh, so if I say I'm Mormon, then to me that means I ascribe to the faith of the Mormons. Okay, okay. I got two, 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 two angles. Okay. One is Catholics. Uh, now Catholics are different than Mormons. A third yes, of, I think, I think a sixth of the world is Catholic. About half of Christians, maybe. I, the last I remember, a third of the world is Christian. A half of those are Catholics. Maybe not Roman Catholics. But when you say you're Catholic, that doesn't say a lot, but it says something. Okay, that's one angle. But everybody knows you have to say what kind of Catholic, because. <laughs> Saying Catholic is not the same zoom out as the other ones are. Right. It's a big, big umbrella. So you know that with the way language works and the way it's just turned out, you have to say, oh, well, what kind of Catholic are you? Are you a Easter? Are you a believing Catholic? Are you an Easter Sunday Catholic? Are you a, you know, devout? Yeah. This brings up an important part of what we're driving at, and that is private meanings of words and you're like tom you can't have a private meaning of the word mormon and i'm well, like well i can now because now they're not mormons <laughs> <laughs> so you okay can, but, but you cannot decide that everyone else is going to take from it what you mean by you it. can't decide what words mean for other people no yeah. no the Republicans don't get to say what the word socialism means, and the Democrats don't either. It 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 means something in the who knows. It may be a, it may be a garbage word. Okay. I don't know, we forgot my other angle. No. <laughs> so, but um, what? Again, what should I, oh, this is the other angle. Okay. I made, I am live. I made a certain choice in my life. Now it could be a corrupt choice, could be a dishonest choice, but let's say I made a choice in my life, two choices in my life, to stay registered as Republican could be purely strategic, whatever, and to stay in the Mormon church. And let me tell you, when I move, do I tell the church where I am? Do I meet my bishop? Yes. Do you? You do. I do. I do. I meet my bishop. I, I, my, my records I keep I contact the the executive secretary at the new ward I move into and I tell him I'm new in the ward. Okay. I, have... I am doing certain I'm not gonna pay tithing to the church. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I don't believe in the church enough to do that. And I realize that that is a major breach of contract having gone to the Unitarian Universalist Church and having had my eyes open as what it is to be a member and, and I need to be a card-carrying, dues-paying member, I am perfectly ashamed that I don't pay tithing as a member of the church. So you could say I'm a, I'm a member of the church in delinquency. Legally speaking, I ha don't pay tithing. 
but 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 go ahead. No, I'm listening. Okay. And and I'm not gonna. I, I don't have enough faith in the priesthood to go and use the bishop as a confessional, or much less as a counselor. I'm too kind for that, and now because I don't want to take his time. But I and I always thank him, thank everybody for their service, and uh, but I do go talk to him. I go, do generally go meet. Uh, my bishops, I write, I wrote right to them. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with any of that. Okay, wait, but no, no, I think that's, okay, here's my, I wonder if you have a strong desire to not reject any part of yourself. I want to sit with that. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, you know, the 25-year-old guy, you know, that messed up the marriage uh, by being a know-it-all or whatever, or by the religion having inculcated, or whoever have inculcated with me with crazy ideas. Oh, I love, uh, yeah, the, the guy who, who got, who... You know, um, who was, you know, lost his temper as a dad. I wasn't physical, you know. I, 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 I mean, I did touch Matthew sometimes. And we got in fights when he was a teenager. Two, two physical fights. You got to love. You got to, yeah. yeah. I want to, that's, to, yes, okay. Yes. So, no, because my inclination is if the bishop calls me in, my inclination is to say, you're not the bishop of me. Yeah. Well, kind of. Yeah. But kind you of. are on a good, you were on a good relationship with your bishop. Yeah. Yeah, we're friends. And I go to all the ward activities, but I do not, if I were to move, I wouldn't tell anyone I was there. I feel no compunction about not paying tithing. Are you kidding me? Um, I... I don't consider myself a member. Now, we are the same. I am still an affiliated Republican, which I don't know if I ever really was Republican, but I affiliated so that my vote would count in my red state um, so that I could vote. Um, and I'm still a member on paper of the Mormon church. So we both are the same that way. However, I just haven't gotten around to removing myself from either one of them. But I feel a strong, like recently, I was like, within the last year, it's like, I can no longer stay affiliated with the Republican Party. Like, I will not stay affiliated with the Republican Party. And when I first left the Mormon Church, I felt very strongly that way. I will not remain. I don't want my name anywhere near that church. I don't want any kind of affiliation with it. Um, I... At this point, I don't remove my name because I think it would be hurtful to my family members um, to have that happen. Um, but I, I feel like it's a very different place that we're coming from right there of where you do not want to reject any part, anything that made you. And, and I feel a strong need of me as I am right now to make my stand of what I believe now, who I am now, and I don't want the Republican Party or the Mormon Church to be any part of that. Now, do I recognize that there is Mormonness in me, right? Yeah, and that, that my Mormon training comes out occasionally or wants to come out occasionally. Uh, I don't think I ever was very Republican, um, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting, I think maybe, maybe that little, that would be interesting to think about or explore. Yeah, I, uh, the embarrassment of, of the human experience, the, 
in the Book of Mormon. You know, the, the, I don't know that I believe, you know, where it came from, right? Other than Joseph Smith. Um, the angel said to Nephi, Do you know the condescension of God? Do you know the condescension of Elizabeth? Do you know what you condescended to be? Do you know the condescension of God? You said, I'm going to that family, and I'm going to be a Mormon, <laughs> and I'm going to... And I'm going to be an American. Oh! And I'm going to be a rep Oh! Sounds amazing! Bring it on. <laughs> and, and... I can do this. <laughs> yeah. And... It's deeply embarrassing to be a human being, to be myself. I feel that. And I accept that. I, 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 I hope to accept that. I hope to accept I'm in an extremely difficult, embarrassing situation. I one thing I think really helped me. The Temple Recommend interview says, "Do you affiliate with any uh, individuals or groups whose teachings or practices are not in harmony with Maybe. those espoused by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints?" And I go, "Oh yeah, man. I'm a Republican. I'm a I'm a I'm a citizen of the United States." I'm a member of the church. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm an, I'm an engineer. Uh, you know, I, I have oodles of affiliations that are, that are totally at odds with the teachings of heaven. Next question. <laughs> Okay, so what I didn't say at the beginning, oh, uh, we're really long. <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> what I did, maybe you could make this into two. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I didn't say at the beginning was that uh, just before this started, I watched a couple videos that like that actually made me see exactly what you're saying. Well, not that made me admit how much it's embarrassing to be me. And this, do you, by by this, you mean this talk right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right before we started, I was crying minutes before we started. I saw um, the tears in your eyes just now. Um. Yeah, and, and part of one of the videos was you cannot, you can only learn, you don't learn to love yourself by building up all your strengths. You learn to love yourself by embracing the worst parts of you and bringing them in and coming to agreement with them figuring out how, what their strengths are, how they can be a strength for you, agreeing to move forward differently uh, together, not fighting those parts, but um, embracing them, accepting them, bringing them in, seeing them, not pretending they're not there, not trying to make them go away. Um, but so I feel like you're maybe kind of trying to do that, right? You're not wanting to reject. And, and I'm embarrassed about not being able to tell the whole truth in 10 seconds. But you're human and you're using a human language. So what are you going to do? 
Yeah. I mean, I say I'm Marxist. No, that's not true. That's not true. I say I'm Catholic. I, you know, I could say I'm Unitarian Universalist. Ah. <laughs> I didn't. Well, you can just say I have a background in the Republican Party and a background in the Mormon Church. I usually say I was raised Mormon. I've come, I, same as you. Same yeah. as you. Same as Sarah Beth. I think that that is very humble and re revelatory. It and says true. a lot. Yeah. And but it doesn't say anything about where I am now. No. But it says a lot about where I've come from. And which who I has am. informed where I am. Yeah. Right. Right. I think it's yeah. Yeah, I don't right. I don't think that a lot is served by my generally saying, and then here's where I, maybe I agree with you, by saying, I'm a Mormon, and I'm a Republican. I do sometimes say that, but mostly just as a joke or shock value. When it's time to just really introduce myself to someone, I hope, I hope that, you know, I was raised Mormon, I have Republican DNA. So I feel, yeah. Okay, I'm going to push back on that a little bit, because I only know that you say you're a Republican from your Facebook page, but I feel like you repeatedly in conversations on your Facebook page will say, I'm Republican, but I can't vote for Trump. Or, I'm Republican, um, where maybe, and maybe I'm wrong, but maybe what you're saying is, I know where you're coming from as a Republican but I can't do that anymore or I'm right now or whatever. Do you have any advice for me? <laughs> I want to do a good job. Well, I don't know. Well, okay. I'm just, I'm going to be very plain spoken, pushing on these, yeah. uh, but, but I do I not intend, it. I do not intend for this to be a let's correct each other. It, that is not what I want. Right, but at the moment I am I'm at a loss. No, but no. Let me first say, maybe I can do better. What's well, so, so, Mike? Okay. I would wonder: Am I saying this so that I have credibility with these people, and yes. then I can? I'm saying this so I can have credibility with these people. <laughs> Is it honest, though? See, then I wonder, is well, honest? is it honest? No, this is, no, I'm just being totally confessing here. Yeah, I I hope to be honest here. And if, uh, okay, uh, yeah. I mean, okay, and, and the bigger concern is, is that why I'm still a Mormon? Is that why I'm still a Republican? Just so I can say I am. Well, I would guess it's more the first thing that we talked about before, not wanting to reject parts of you, but I, it, it might be a good idea to be aware of the other possibility or yeah. when it moves over into that. Or it could whatever. all be in there. It could all be in there. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, yeah. I'm embarrassed. I don't feel like you need to be embarrassed. And I'm, yeah, I feel like, I feel like this was not the point of these. Well, <laughs> no, actually, when there's enough unconditional love that I feel from you, I think, you know, sometimes hard questions need to be asked. So this reminds me of, and I don't know why I'm saying this other than for maybe a desire to say you're being open and vulnerable. The other day I was talking to, I was texting with my daughter. I sent, she doesn't live with me. She came to my house. She left a mess on my desk when she did a project on my desk. I sent her a picture saying, what should I do with all of this? Partly wanting to say, you should feel guilty for leaving this on my desk. 
she says, well, it goes here. And I said, well, where exactly there does it go? And she tells me and I respond, hmm, because I'm thinking you should feel guilty for leaving these things on my desk and leaving me to clean up your mess when you went home after this project. And I, yeah, I sat with that after I put, hmm, she didn't respond, you know, she didn't say, I'm sorry, I left a mess. I'm sorry, she didn't, you know, give in to my manipulation. And all of a sudden, you know, the light went on. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to make her feel guilty. I am trying to make my daughter feel guilty for something I would have done. Yeah. <laughs> and so I said, thanks for that information. I love you or something like that. Cause I'm like, okay, pull back. Let's not try to make her feel guilty. Yeah. Either way, I have to go put those things away or wait till she comes back to clean it up. That's, that's reality either way. I can make her feel guilty about it or I can just clean it up. Yeah. So much has to do with your inner state, your way of being. But yeah, but that realization, like how many times have I done that to my kids? How many times have I tried to make, like, I don't like guilt. I think guilt is a really bad, harmful thing. And to, to see here I am trying to make my daughter feel guilty for this dumb little thing she did. That's not even a big deal. I can go put those things in the other room. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Well, it's it's hard to be honest to, to, to separate out the fact that I'm I'd like to live with a clean such and such from the fact that how dare you be such and such a way. Right. Yeah. I mean, one's vulnerable and honest and the other is projecting your emotions un, uh, inappropriately toward them. You know, um, yeah, it's, we're, we're fig yeah, that's, yeah, because you do, you do, you, it is appropriate to say, I need a workplace. I need a workplace. I need, I need a place to work in the kitchen. Yeah. And, you know. It's your choice what you do. You know, you put the dishes on their bed, or you, or do you wash them yourself, or move them over to a different counter? And do you write them a note? Say, I don't know. It's because it's not clear. Do you write them a note, and where does the note come from? What space, and how's it going to be received? Who is the individual? I had to move your dishes. I I put them on your bed. Just want you to know. Well, that now now it sounds like an okay note. <laughs> Maybe. Right? Maybe. Yeah. I just yeah. Need, I just needed a place to work. I but I didn't want to take away from you the right to put away your own dishes. <laughs> I mean because it's difficult, right? As a parent especially, um you know, your mother doesn't live here. Well, actually she does. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hate that saying. I'm like, are you saying that I'm supposed to clean up their messes? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, now I'm curious why I felt a need to share that experience that had no relation to anything we were talking about. Other than maybe I felt a similar feeling then as what I thought maybe you were feeling then and thought and felt the need to make that connection. But I don't know. I'm, I feel curious about that, that why I felt the need to do that. Maybe, do, maybe do you think it's, these things sometimes are going to be difficult and that's, you know, from our spiritual perspective, that's part of the deal. That's part of the deal here. I'm thankful to be here in this life. It's so wild and confusing and, you know, I'm, I'm all wrapped up in being this, you know, this, uh, and I don't know which way to go all the time. And when I post on Facebook, 
I and when I say I am a boy, hopefully in my mind I'm going, gee, what do I do here? How do I help? How do I how do I be honest? How do I communicate clearly? How do I communicate as clearly as possible without taking everybody's time or writing something, you know, really long? Too right. long don't did, too long possible, didn't yeah. read. <laughs> Interesting you asked. I so happen to have a treatise on who I am, what I am. Yeah. And and are you any closer for having written it? <laughs> it's rough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. We've gone long. We have something that we can think about and explore, and we had a little bit of practice disagreeing. And we got to to some vulnerable moments. Yeah. Maybe maybe pushing on disagreement is always gonna end up there. We'll see. For somebody. Just keep doing we'll it. I maybe. We'll find out, I guess. It's gonna involve you're gonna it's gonna wind up in denial and I'm gonna personally gloss over it. Or else I'm gonna you know. Because when I brought up the topic, I really thought you were Republican and that there were some leanings that that we were going to maybe disagree about. But then we ended up somewhere totally different than where. Yeah, we ended up with honesty. I, I, going. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is cool. Let's keep practicing. Okay. And maybe we'll. This is scary to be ready for other people, man. Yes, I thought you, we were doing someone else today, but not with the, I didn't think we were doing the disagreement thing. I thought we were just doing someone else. So. Yeah. Well, as far as I know, we don't have him programmed. Meaning you, we don't have a date? We don't have a date. So we need to set a date. If you want to set it for next time, we will do that. But if, if you want to wait and practice a little more time, we, we can do that. Well, okay. Are we going to ask him to do the disagreeing thing? I think we were saying we're not going to press our luck. We're just going to, we might gloss over some things. So we, I think in that case, we should do him sooner. Yes. And then focus on learning how to disagree after. Okay. All right. Let's, I'll, I'll see if he'll join us in two weeks. Okay. Sounds good. All righty. Love you. I love you so much. It was a beautiful <laughs> talk. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye-bye.